Hi, it's Tanya here from Tap and Taz Creates. Welcome. Today I would like to share with you the process of creating this picture here. This video will be in three steps. One, the planning. Two, the drawing. And three, the colouring. This video is also part of a YouTube collaboration hosted by Faith of Abstract Possibilities. All details of the collaboration will be put in the description below. There will also be an iCard pops up throughout the video to allow you to go and check out some of the other artists' work. Let's get started. So, step one, planning. It's always a good idea to plan out your projects. I like to do some sketching in my sketchbook first and foremost. And I looked at a whole load of different Franklin pictures on the internet in order to get a feel for what he looks like. I then sat down and I sketched him in pencil. As you can see, I've just left this in pencil. I haven't done anything more. I added the football because most of the American television shows that I've ever seen all mention playing football or watching football on Thanksgiving. So it seemed like the most logical choice for me to do a scene. And there is also a faint line along here that is the horizon. Now, this is a very basic sketch. I do change the horizon line and when I go on to explain the next stage, I will tell you a bit more. Stage two, the drawing. Now clearly I've drawn Franklin here, but as I want to colour in with Copic markers, or Copic depending on how you pronounce that, I needed to get my drawing transferred onto marker paper. To do that, I used transfer paper. If you would like to see how I did this, let me know and I will maybe do an instructional video. With the image now transferred, I am drawing the lines with a micron pen. It means that when I'm colouring in with the Copic markers, the pen will not bleed and run and smear. I start off with his face, his hands and the ball. Now I shall let you into a little secret. This is not the first time that I have coloured this picture in. Doing a practice colouring allows you to experiment with the colours, allows you to decide on your colours, how dark the markers are going to be, how many layers you need uh, with the markers uh, and how they're going to play together. The other thing a practice run does is it helps you get over that fear of doing something wrong in the main project. The leaves that I am adding now are actually being added as an afterthought. It's because I managed to get a mark on the paper that wasn't supposed to be there. I have also changed the horizon line from being straight to having a bit of a hill. And the reason I've done this is to give the picture a bit more balance. There seemed to be an awful lot more on the right hand side of the picture so I wanted to balance that out on the left hand side by adding a, a tree and I didn't want it to be too big and too close so in order to put it a bit more in the distance I put a little bit of a hill so really it was about putting a little bit more interest in. So there you have it how to plan, draw and colour a project. If you liked this video, please give me the thumbs up and don't forget to check out all the other artists in this collaboration. If you haven't done so already, why don't you subscribe and that way you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye for now. Take care.